out here today on Blake Cumberland, and this is a blast from the past. We're here with my buddy Creed Fowler. Now, Creed, you and I used to fish a lot together. Did some tournament fishing? Did, a little bit, yeah. And this is the first time we've been in a boat together in how long? I was thinking about that yesterday, and I bet it's been, I don't think it's been a decade, but it's it's gotta be awful close to it. Eight, eight, eight or nine, nine years, years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love this lake. Not much not to love about this lake. It's full of striper, largemouth, smallmouth, spots. Um, Got a little bit of everything. I'll tell you what, we got a lot of traffic out on the lake um, right now. It looks like one, I can tell the stripers are biting, there's striper boats are everywhere, and there's a lot of bass boats. There's a big college qualifier this weekend, so we're probably gonna have some company. Hey, you know what? Maybe we can watch what these guys are doing, and if we start out slow, maybe we'll learn a thing or two. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. A lot of stain in the water. There we go. You got it? Yeah, Wait. that's a bass. A bad start, first spot. Fish on. Uh oh. Here you go. Nice. Thank you. Way to get started, that little pink head. That's what they want today. Yeah, well, I guess that bubble gum. Now, I'm assuming that all these smallmouth are going to be post spawn. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say they're about done with it. But that's a pretty good little fish there. Wouldn't be a keeper here, but we're not tournament fishing. We're today. not tournament fishing. We're just out here enjoying ourselves, catching up. Oh, here we go. Must have been literally living on that piece of structure I was on. Small mouth. Nice. Well, that's too pretty quick. That's a that's a keeper. Nice. There we go. Nice small mouth. Now both of these fish were were caught on swim baits. I'm throwing a little bit of different bait but it's about the same size head i got a little different color you know this stained water i like to enhance it with a little bit of color kind of a natural color bait with something really bizarre on one end or the other you've chosen to go hot pink on the head and i got a little chartreuse on the tail we'll check this one out i believe this one's close to 18 inches oh yeah he's way Eight, there 18 and three quarter so if we were tournament fishing we'd we'd, we'd have a start nice fish i tell you what i love catching these smallmouth it just absolutely tears me up <laughs> I know it does. <laughs> if you like to fish and you're not into that, you need to get into something else. Yeah. So a lot of times when I'm fishing a little bit of stained water, I like throwing very natural color. This is actually called a sexy shad. It's a Kitek lure. And rather than painting the whole thing, this stuff will stain no matter what it touches. So keep it away from your boat. I mean, just put a little bit on the tail. When this thing comes to the water, that thing's gonna be dancing back and forth and it really, really shows up in this stained water. If I can see it better, I'm hoping that means the fish can see it better as well. Oh. Got him? Yeah, that might be a striper. Oh no, I can't tell what it is. No, it's a little bass. Well, he's got some shoulders. That's a keeper there too. I'm glad all these college kids are uh, not hanging out right here. They, they'd be like, hey, we need to fish right here. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a good fish there. Creed, that, that fish is really thick. Yeah. That one may not be spawned out. Yeah, that's 19. 19 inches. Nice job. That one's a lot thicker than the one I caught. That's a beautiful fish, man. I'll tell you what, we'll take them all day long. He's still mean. We'll tell you this. Now, we're sitting in 50 feet of water, but this point comes out a long way. The length of the cast that I'm making here, I'm having no trouble whatsoever hitting in 10 foot of water. It could probably get even more shallow than that. There he is. Under the boat, coming out. There we go. Oh, it's a smaller fish. Oh, <laughs> nice he shot. weren't in that net. <laughs> oh, man, that one's going to be a little short of the keeper. Uh oh. That's the bite that just keeps on biting. <laughs> Otherwise known as the bank. You know, Creed, 10 years ago, you and I were fishing a ton together and it wasn't like somebody moved, somebody said something bad about each other's wife. We just, you know, life happened. It, That's it about happened. the time that you and I both started uh, having families and kind of got away from fishing a little bit. I mean, I know you still fish, but. Yeah, yeah, that was about the time you and I both had our first kids about the same time. and. You're kind of lucky you got into a profession where it, it kind of worked out to keep keep hunting and fishing. It slowed me down a little bit. You know, my oldest one now is 
uh, 12, he'd be, he's almost 13, and my youngest one's 10. And uh, all of a sudden, they both kind of taken a pretty big interest in fishing. More, more of an interest in catching than fishing. You know, this is a place that you and your dad came a lot as a kid. You kind of learned how to fish on Cumberland, didn't you? We used to striper fish here some um, when I was a kid. And I grew up bass fishing a little bit. We actually used to fish the tailwaters um, below the dam uh, for trout quite a bit when I was younger. That was really my dad's favorite yeah. place. As a matter of fact, my dad's ashes are down there in the Cumberland River below the dam. Yeah, that was, that was his place. The great thing about fishing is that it's always there and you can always come get back into it. I mean, you can you can get away from fishing, get back into it. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to I'm trying to trying to feed that flame and, and hopefully uh, <laughs> keep that going. Cause yeah, I, I enjoy it and I enjoy getting out there with them too. So it, it's a it's one of those things that it, it's a great way to spend some leisure time, but obviously a great time spending with your family oh, yeah. too. There you go. Come off. Came back and got it. <laughs> I was determined. <laughs> it's a little fish. No, it's not. <laughs> ain't so bad. That's <laughs> not, it's a keeper. Little fish. <laughs> Man, that fish must have been swimming right at me because he didn't feel that big. And it's a solid three pounder. That's where I, I cast it up in there and was retrieving it and he popped it and I missed it. And I just kept retrieving it about the same speed, slowed down, hit it again, missed it. Smack Creed while my hook set and cast it right back up in there and bam, just smashed it. This is gonna be close. Oh, if we were tournament fishing, we'd be upset. Look at that. I have to stretch him out a little bit. <laughs> Great fun fish to catch right there. It's a chum. Well, Creed, I say we run up toward the dam. This rain looks like it's set in. Let's get our rain gear on before we make this next run and move on up the lake, hopefully find another couple good fish. Let's do it. There it is. This fish here's gonna be really close to being a keeper. Well, I barely had him. Look at that. <laughs> hey, it counts. That counts. I tell you what, it's been a good day though. Yeah. You and I have had a we've had a lot of good fishing trips together, but I'm glad you're you're really getting back in and got a boat and introducing your boys to fishing. Yeah, I've I've enjoyed it. I appreciate you having me out. Good to see you and spend some time with you again. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to doing this more. <laughs> <laughs>